The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled that three of Canada's key prostitution laws are unconstitutional and given Parliament a year to write new ones. If they fail to do so within the time frame given, prostitution will be effectively decriminalized in Canada. So what now? Well, Parliament has already indicated they've begun to look at their options. And for the EFC, our goal remains the same, and that is to see better laws put in place that will significantly reduce prostitution and sexual exploitation and increase the safety of all women and children. Studies have shown that between 88 and 96 percent of women in prostitution are not there because they choose to be and would get out if they felt they could. The model of law we're advocating for recognizes this, and so it targets the perpetrators and purchasers of prostitution the men who put them there and who keep them there. The EFC has submitted a report to Parliament titled Out of Business, Prostitution in Canada, Putting an End to Demand. The report proposes a Canadian adaptation of what is known as the Nordic Model of Law and Policy on Prostitution. Some of our key recommendations were that Parliament be clear and unambiguous in defining prostitution as a form of violence, abuse and control of vulnerable women, children and men that our laws criminalize the purchase and attempted purchase of sex and reflect the non-criminal nature of those who are being sold. While it's not illegal to sell sex in Canada, historically it's the prostituted that have borne the weight of our criminal laws relating to prostitution and this creates barriers to their exit. We also recommended that accompanying a change in the law, Parliament signal a clear commitment to engaging with provincial and territorial governments and a range of other stakeholders in the development of a comprehensive national plan to ensure that the programs and policies are in place to help prevent vulnerable individuals from entering prostitution and to facilitate the exit of those who are already in. As our government gets to work in writing new prostitution laws, they need and want to hear from you. It's going to take all of us working and standing together to send the message loud and clear that in Canada, our women and children are not for sale.